Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to use an FTP account with your WordPress website. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. FTP, which is short for File Transfer Protocol, uh, that will allow you to transfer files and edit files between your personal local computer and your website that is hosted online. Basically, we can use an FTP software to connect between our computer and our website. There are many FTP softwares out there and in the written blog post you can find the link in the description box down below. I listed five of the most popular softwares. In this tutorial, we will use FileZilla because you have a FileZilla for Mac and for Windows as well and it's free, it comes with a lot of great features. So first of all, download the FileZilla client software into your computer and install it. Once you did, we will need to create an FTP account for our website and we can create it through our hosting company. In this example, I will use HostGator. However, you can create it with any hosting company from inside their cPanel account. Once you are inside the cPanel, look for the files section over here and click on the FTP accounts button. You will be redirected to the FTP accounts page where you can create an FTP account for your website for your domain name. So let's uh, enter a login credential. For example, you can call it anything you want, something like admin, FTP, support or so on. I will call it admin. Here you will need to choose your domain name from this list. If you have only one domain, the domain will be selected automatically. However, I have multiple domains, so I will need to decide to which domain create this FTP account. Then I will choose a password and I will delete this directory and keep it empty. So I will have access to all my domains and all my websites. Then make sure the quota is set to unlimited and click on create FTP account. That will take a few seconds and once you did, you will find it on the list over here that was added to the other FTP accounts you already created or been created automatically for you. And you can find it over here. Once created, we can open our FTP software, which is FileZilla, and enter our credentials to connect to the server. We have four fields to fill, the host, username, password, and port. Most times the host will be FTP dot your domain name uh, dot com in our example ftp dot edit css dot com the username will be the username we created in this tutorial we created admin at the domain name and the password is the one you said earlier the port by default is 21 and after you done click on connect you may see this message and if you do that's fine click on ok then after it will establish a connection you will see this successful message over here in this window. Once it connected here on the right side, this is your virtual machine. This is your website hosted online and you can access all the files of the website here. And on the left side, that's your local machine. That's your computer with all your files on your computer. Let's go back to the right side for a second. You will see many folders and many files listed over there. Every domain name will have its own folder. So if you have multiple domains, you will have many, many folders. However, if you only have one domain, you will see less folders. Let's go into our domain name, which is the folder, editcss.com. And here we'll have many files that related to this site specifically. So for example, the wp-content folder will contain all the files related to the website, such as themes, plugins, etc. And when we get into it, we can see uh, many other folders, plugins and themes are part of it. So let's access the themes folder and our active theme is hello elementor and we'll get into it. And let's say we would like to edit the CSS of this theme. So we will look for the style.css file and we can see it over here along with the minify version. Usually the minify version is the active one. So let's right click on it and click on edit or open and we can see it over here. Now we can just edit the file, change it, customize it however we want. So for example, if we'd like to change the body color from white, uh, we can change it to any other color such as red, just like so. Then we'll need to save the changes and click yes in the FTP account software. 
to upload it to our server. Once we did, we can go back to our website, editcss.com, refresh the page. It should work. If it didn't, we will need to hard reload the page because there are some caching uh, happening in the server side. And once we hard reloaded it, we can see that the background color changed from white to red. Excellent. So this is a great way to customize and edit WordPress websites with FTP. You can edit files or add or delete files from the server using an FTP software. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding the process, please leave us a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.